Hey everybody, my name is Dave and welcome to part 4 of the Azustar AS304T. Today's video is going to be about Download Center. As a matter of fact, it's going to be about downloading to your NAS. Whether it's a torrent file, NZB, YouTube video, audio files, uh, office files, whatever it may be. Now, Download Center uses the downloads folder and that's what we have here and when you install apps like these ones here you uh, get a folder that installs in download uh, center now by the way I made different pages uh, this is my home page for like settings and things like that and then this would be all the download kind of apps that you can use I also made a storage page where you could use apps that use backup or, or you store files and things like that and then I have a stream page where you can stream things including a zoo store portal where you hook up an HDMI to your TV now by the way I upgrade it to 2.2 uh, it's no longer in beta and 2.2 um, adds a couple of features uh, matter of fact it adds a lot of features there's Portuguese and Turkish language support uh, hard disk hibernation uh, indicators, multilingual usernames, night mode scheduling, a more comprehensive UPS, uh, and uh, Google Drive, photo gallery, mini DLNA, and then there's some features that are still a little iffy uh, where you can use an optical drive and control it from your NAS. Now there's download helper. Uh, this goes along with the download assistant. Now we originally installed the control panel we installed the software for download assistant and we have that here uh, download assistant we installed it on our Mac and uh, the beta program uh, also adds uh, a Chrome extension for download so let's install that Chrome extension uh, it's a helper and it'll help you to um, download things when you're on certain web pages so we'll install that. We'll add it in. And we're going to put in my credentials right now. All right, so we connect it successfully. We put in our IP address for our NAS, the port, and username and password. So we're going to save these settings, and it'll save it. So now here you'll have a, a dialog that pops up, and you can add different things. We'll go over more of that in a second. Now we also have Download Assistant. Now before you can use Download Assistant, you have to connect. So it's found our NAS in the network. So we're going to click on that and we're going to complete that. So now your Download Assistant is ready. It's a software that runs on your Mac or your Windows. And you can use this program instead of using the program on the NAS. So when you download from private torrent sites, sort of like this, where I have torrent day, which requires a username and password, and it's invite only, as well as torrenting.com. And if you click on this site and you open it up and say you want to download something, um, I'm interested in downloading. When you click here, what's going to happen is it's going to use download center as the default uh, page or default software instead of using like uTorrent it's going to use download center a download assistant as a torrent downloader okay so we're going to click OK and you're going to see now that this private site is going to allow you to start downloading uh, very fast because there's a lot of people seeding uh, because it is private and it, it's going to start downloading right to your NAS into the downloads folder now if we go to the ADM 2.2 and we go to download center you're going to see it also show up in here now if you wanted to use an extension you see the extension here it also shows up in the extension so what's great about this is that not only you have the download center in the ADM, 
you also have a download software that you could use on your Mac separately from the ADM. And you also have an extension in Chrome that allows you to use uh, for downloading. And it all works to manage what's going on in that download folder. Now there's more because there's a setting in here and there's torrent search engines that are built right in to Download Center. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get Torrent Day into there, but there are other things that we can use. You can also install these apps here. And when you use Couch Potato, Sick Beard, and NZB Get, and uh, Sav NZB Plus, and all that, you can put Torrent Day in there, and it will automatically, uh, you know, search an RSS. It will pull the file, download it. But that's going to be in the next video because this one's getting a little too long. Uh, the other thing is Take Easy is part of the extension as well. So Take Easy is a way to uh, get this is Take Easy here, and it's a way to like download YouTube videos and things like that. So say you uploaded a video and you wanted it to download it, or you have a friend's video you want to download because you want to watch it offline. Maybe you're going on an airplane trip and uh, you can pretty much add any URL from YouTube, Vimeo, uh, UKU, and all of these sites here. So that's nice too because you can also get those YouTube videos that you want. Um, so in the next video, we're going to go over more of these other uh, ways of downloading torrents, movies, TV shows, uh, books, software, uh, games, music, everything. And we're going to be using all of these apps. And then in future videos, of course, we're going to talk all about these storage solutions. We're also going to talk about uh, streaming and a zoo store portal. And also having live TV and uh, having a DVR storage as well. Uh, so there's a lot to come in this Azu Store playlist. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. And I will see you on the next video. Thank you.